Hey, what's going on guys? I've recently had some requests for a tutorial on testing in JavaScript. So testing is a really good habit to get into. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with Mocha, which is a, a testing framework for JavaScript or for Node.js, as well as Chai, which is an assertion library. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. This video is sponsored by Dev Mountain. If you're interested in learning web development, iOS, or UX design, Dev Mountain is a 12 week design and development boot camp intended to get you a full time job in the industry. To learn more, visit devmountain.com or click the link in the description below. All right, guys, so I'll be the first to admit that I kind of slack in this area. I don't tend to use testing very often, but part of that is because all the code that I write, at least lately, is for either a course or for my YouTube channel and I'm usually focused on one aspect or technology and then adding testing to the mix could kind of confuse people uh, and also make the videos much longer but if you're building and maintaining a large project or a large application testing is definitely a good idea and you should at least learn the basics alright so like I said we're going to be using Mocha which is a testing framework and then Chai uh, which is an assertion library. Okay, so uh, this is a, a beginner friendly tutorial, so we're going to use very simple examples. It's going to be more geared towards showing you how to set up Mocha and Chai and then write some really simple tests. Okay, now Chai is actually optional uh, because Node.js has an assertion library by default, but it's, it's not as um, it's not as powerful. It doesn't have the, the same functionality. Uh, this is the Chai website. If we go to API and then assert, it shows you all the different methods you can use. All right, so for instance, equal is we're going to be using that. That's to make sure that a return value is equal to a certain value, not equal. Um, we have is above, so we can check to see if the value is greater or less than with at least or um, below. Yeah, is below. And there's just a bunch of them, so you may want to may want to check that out. All right, so what we're going to do first is just create a project folder. Now I'm on Linux, but everything I'm doing here you can do just as well with Windows or Mac. Just make sure you have Node.js installed. So let's create a folder for our application. I'm just going to call it uh, Mocha Test, and then I'm going to cd into Mocha Test, and we're going to do an npm init, which is going to initialize our application it's going to create a package dot, uh, dot json file so we're going to enter through this description i'll just say simple app for testing and then the entry point i'm going to say app.js but you can use whatever you'd like and then we'll just enter through the rest all right so let's go ahead and add the project to adam and there's our package.json file um, now what we want to do is install both Mocha and Chai. So let's go over here and say npm install Mocha space Chai, and then we're going to just we're going to do a dash dash save dash dev. So that'll save those as dev dependencies. Okay, so you can see those that just popped in here. All right, now to run it, we're going to use the Mocha command, but I want to be able to do npm run test, and they actually already have a script here called test. So we're just going to replace this with Mocha. All right, and then we'll save that. So our structure is going to be very simple. We're just going to use that the app.js file. So let's create that. And then by default, Mocha is going to look for a, a folder called test. So we're going to create that. And then what we want to do is create a test file for this app.js file. So we'll say new file app test dot js now when you're when you're doing this creating your test files you want to kind of mimic your your folder structure for example if we had a users folder in our application you should also have a users folder in your test folder and then have tests for each script or each um, each file okay so let's go into app.js and all we're going to do here is say module exports and this just makes it so that whatever we put here is going to be accessible outside of the file. So for now, let's just put in a function and we'll just make it return. We'll return the text. Hello. OK, we'll save that. And now what I want to do is write a test to make sure that this function actually returns. Hello. 
All right, so let's go to add test or app test, whatever. And then we're going to bring in our assertion library. So const assertion, uh, not assertion, assert. And you can use the default um, Node.js assertion library if you want or assertion module. If you just do require assert. OK, so you could do that, but we're going to use Chai. So what we want to do is put in here Chai and then we want dot assert. OK, because it has a couple different uh, functions you can use. So we also want to bring in our app.js file. So let's say const app and set that to require app. OK, actually, we want to do dot dot slash app because we're going outside of the test folder. All right. So now to create a test, we're going to do describe. And we're going to call this app after the, the file name and put a function. And to actually test a value, we're going to use the it function. And in here, we want to put some kind of description of what we want this to test. So let's say uh, we'll say app should return hello. And then second parameter is going to be a function. And in here, what we want to do is take that assert module that we brought in from Ch from Chai and we want to use equal. OK, so we're going to say equal and then the actual um, value we want to test, which is going to be app. Make sure you put parentheses because remember, this is returning a function. Um, and then the second parameter is going to be what it should return, which is going to be hello. All right, so that's an actual test that we can run. So let's go ahead and save this and then we'll go over here and we'll say NPM run test. And there we go. So app should return hello and it says we passed. Now, if I go back into app.js and we say uh, hello one and we try and run it. OK, it's going to first tell us that it failed. It says one failing and it says expected hello one to equal hello. So it gives us a pretty good description. And then by default, you're going to get this crap here. OK, which um, we can actually disable and we can do that. Uh, with one of two ways. So the first would be to do npm run test and then add dash s. So then it only shows us um, it only shows us that result there. All right. But I don't want to have to add dash s throughout the whole uh, tutorial. So what I'm going to do is go to package.json and then when it calls mocha, we're just going to put in um, double pipes or whatever these are called and then true. So now if we go back and we just run npm run test, it's not going to give us that crap even if it fails. OK, it's just going to tell us that it failed. So let's go back and just change that back. OK, so now it passes. Now, a lot of times you're going to have a, a file that actually exports multiple functions. So I want to I want to run a test or a couple tests on a couple different functions. So what we're going to do is in our app JS, Instead of doing just, uh, you know, function and return, what we'll do is get rid of this and then put in some curly braces and then let's create a function called say hello. That'll do exactly what uh, what we just did. So we'll say function and that's going to return. Hello. All right. And then we can put other functions in this file as well. So let's save that. We'll go back to app test. And we're going to want to change this a little bit. So there's a couple things we could do. One is we could say const uh, say hello and set that equal to require. And we want to do dot dot slash app. And then we want the say hello function so we can do dot say hello. All right. And then down here, what we can do is just change this right here to say hello. All right, so let's see if that works. We'll say npm run test and it passed. OK, um, it's usually a good idea to put this in a result variable. So right here we'll say let result equals say hello. And then let's put in here result. 
Okay, so that should still work. Good. Now let's create another test. Uh, and we want to test the return uh, type. Okay, so we want to make sure that the type that's returned is hello. Um, I'm sorry, is a string. So let's go under this it and create another one. Okay, so we're going to say it and then we'll describe it. So we'll say, say hello. Actually, let's change this to so say hello should return type string. Okay, then again, we're going to put in a function. And let's go ahead and put the value in a result. So let result equals say hello. And then we want to do assert. And instead of equal, we're going to do type of. Okay, so type of and then let's put in the result. And then what it should be. So it should be a string. All right, so let's go ahead and save that and then we'll run it. And now we have two passing tests and you can see it gives us the description here. Now, if I were to go to app.js and let's say we return a one, which is a number. And it's going to it's going to fail on both accounts, OK, because it's not it's not equal to hello and it's also not a string. OK, it tells us that it expected one to be a string. All right, so let's put that back. And then what I want to do is create another um, another function. So let's create one called add numbers. Actually, I don't want to do that. I want to say function. All right. So this is going to take in two values. And then all I want to do is return value one plus value two. OK, so we'll save that. And now if we want to bring in that function, we can do what we did up here. Oops. So add numbers. And then let's say that we want we need that the return value to be above five. OK, so we'll put whoops, that should be it. And then we'll say. Add numbers. Should be above five. All right, and then in here we're just going to. Uh, actually, let's get the result first. So the result of add numbers and then this takes in two values. So let's put a five and a five. All right. And then we're going to do a cert dot is above. And we want to put in the result and then we want to put in uh, the what it should be above. So that's going to be five. All right. So let's go ahead and save that. Make sure app dot JS is saved as well. And let's run it. And now we get three passing add numbers should be above five. All right. Now, if we were to uh, go over here and say one and one, then it's going to give us a fail. OK, expected two to be above five. Now, let's also make sure I'm going to put this back and then let's make sure that this is a number as well. So what I'll do is just let's copy that. And let's say add numbers should return type number. All right. And then the result. OK, we're just going to do five and five. And then that should be a number. All right. So let's go ahead and run that. And now we have four passing tests. Now, if you have a lot of different functions in, in the app file, you may not want to do this and bring them all in separately. So what you could do let's comment these out and we could go like that, just like we did before, bring in just the whole app and then just go down here and say let result equals uh, app dot say hello. And app dot add numbers. All right, so that should still work. 
good. Now we're kind of repeating ourselves here with all these results. So you may want to put them in uh, a, a global scope up here. So let's say results. And we'll say, whoops, that's not what I want. We'll say, say hello result. And we want that to equal app dot say hello. And then add numbers result. Set that to app dot add numbers. And we'll put in five and five. Okay, so now we can just we can get rid of this. I'll just comment these out though. All right, and then in here we'll put the uh, say hello result. Same thing here. And then this will be add number result. All right, and let's run it. And it works. Now you can also separate these up into their own groups by using a nested describe. So these two are for the say hello. So let's go ahead and say describe. And we'll, we'll just put in the name of the function, which is say hello. You can, you can put the parentheses if you want. Uh, and then a function. OK, and then we just want to grab both of these and cut. Put those in there. And then we'll do the same for add numbers. So this will be. Um, Add numbers. Okay, and then we'll just grab these two it statements. Put those in there. And then that makes it a little neater. So if we go and we run this now, it'll actually separate the two. Say hello and then add numbers. All right, and you can keep going with your the rest of your functions. All right, so that's going to do it for this video, guys. I just wanted this to be an introduction. Um, go ahead and experiment with it. Look at uh, Mocha. I think it's, what is it? MochaJS.org. And there's some good uh, documentation. Also, uh, Chai has some all the assertion methods and so on. So you may want to continue and try to uh, create some tests of your own. All right, so thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe if you're not. And... Give it a like if you liked it or dislike if you didn't like it. Just be sure you leave some feedback. All right. Thanks.